What is my input with the coaching drama? I mean, uh, I just kind of read about it today. Not very much yesterday. Uh, what I think overall, what's better for the game is to have the game played by the players. And uh, I think giving giving po more power to coaches, let's say you would be in tournaments and you would play with five versus five, but you have the coach and he could basically help out playing the game together. Like, I, I feel like there is an issue. And uh, it would shift how the game is played. The players would most more so... Uh, because I, I, I feel like Dota should be played by the players still. And uh, it's it's basically one resource to have all these kind of things you kind of have to remember. And the fact that you have to kind of be consistent on what you do as a team, setting up your goals. And I think it's the players, uh, players should uh, be doing that, not somebody else for them. And I think it would be pretty bad for the dynamic of having a coach as a sixth player for the team. I think it would dra drastically change how the game is played and what the players would focus on. And uh, yeah, I think there could be like, I, I don't know how you could implement it, but let's say you look at general sports. Uh, so when people are not playing and they are kind of like off the like let's say you're at playing basketball as a professional, you're off the court and you're you can be talking to your coach. I think that's totally fine because then you can basically redirect the players. But I feel like when the coaches try to interact with the players when they're playing, uh, uh, I, I would generally feel that that's not very good for the players. But I think in esports it would lead into into this kind of like one guy telling everybody what to do basically just voicing how what, what are the team goals in this game and reminding them and doing this kind of work but i i would rather have the players do that i, I don't generally have like a very like i haven't really thought about it too much but i get the feeling as uh, as i've been playing that uh I think it's better that the players do basically everything uh, in the game and then off the game. I understand that you could uh, much easier, much e much more easily uh, have other people have impact. Let's say you have coaches or your friends or whatever. You could be asking questions. But in the game, I feel like that's where players should be playing, not anybody else. But yep. what are your thoughts on six versus five Dota? Uh, I mean, I, I shared some, but I generally think that uh, to simplify things, I wait. I'm just looking how he plays the lane, just a bit, just this way. So he wanted to not aggro, but he wanted to play aggro on the TA there, which is interesting. They keep right clicking the TA. And I think TA should hit back, except he's level 1. How oh, is he level 2? Wait, what? Did I miss something? Wait, what? How did he... Oh, 2 denies. Oh, he denied range, that's fine. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So... About playing 6 versus 5, I generally think that the play game has been played for a very long time with uh, only by the players. And what what it actually does when you add a coach into the game specifically is that you can allocate a lot of the resources 
that you are right now using to play the game into your best interest as a team, which means that you're setting up the team goals and you're actively talking about what you want to do in the game and you're looking at team timings, etc. You could basically shove all that to the coach, which means that players would be able to focus more into the micro things. And uh, I think that it benefits everybody if the players also uh, like focus on the bigger picture and uh, all the communication and stuff. So it's not only going through one person, but actually five people actively doing it. I think it's probably better for the competitive. And uh, that's my initial feeling. I don't really have... Wait, this similar thing happened this game also, but the bristle was doing the exact same. <laughs> I'm so confused, I got deja vu there. So yeah, uh, it's my initial feeling as a player, uh, as a like, uh, uh, as I have been playing uh, competitive, obviously. I I get the feeling that you wouldn't wanna be chasing those things at least very lightly. So I would argue that you need a very good reasons to do that. if you would want to add the coach into the game because it would change the dynamic of how teams play and it would change the dynamics how teams will practice in the future etc etc so the whole switch would switcheroo would basically disrupt the competitive scene in as, a, as for a while i feel and people would start to play the game through their coaches more so than what they have been doing previously which is playing the game for themselves. So it's pretty dangerous game if we would do that change, I would say. Hard to say how it would change things. <laughs> 